Hey guys, Jimmy Flores with Rhino Tactical. So uh, we've covered pretty much a lot of the stuff for pistol. Um, we haven't covered too much defense, defensive pistol, but we'll get into that. Um, but I want to jump around a little bit to keep you guys entertained. And um, we're going to talk about rifles now, the infamous black rifle, and, um, and how it uh, actually equates um, to firing um, more efficiently if you do go ahead and do pistol first. That's why I started you guys. Um, doing the pistol part of it first because if you can master the pistol then shotgun and rifle actually very very simple um, wider plane wider plane on the sights uh, is a little bit easier than the short and narrow with a lot of recoil pistol is to control so um, that's why we went through that and I see a lot of like uh, military and police come through and they're great snipers great riflemen but their pistol lacks so once they get their pistol up to par, then they find that their rifle shooting is a lot better. So um, if you watch the videos, um, it'll take you back to from beginning to end. That's why we did it in numerical order. And you can learn how to do all the pistol stuff again. And like I said, we're going to cover a lot more in the future. But I wanted to, again, uh, jump to a little bit to the AR-15 um, infamous black rifle platform. So today we're going to talk a little bit, a little bit about the legalities of the California laws. So okay. before we begin, guys, I just want you guys to understand that uh, this video is just a little bit of a quick tips video on the legalities to own a California compliant AR-15 in California. Um, if you really want to get to the nooks and crannies of the actual law, then I suggest that you actually look into it a little bit further just to make sure that you're covered um, as the laws constantly change. So with but, that being uh, said, um, I recommend a site called calguns.net. They have this fantastic... Um, California rifle identification flowchart and it pretty much if you go down the line here you can you answer yes or no to the questions and when by the time you get to the end it'll tell you whether you do have an assault rifle or you actually have a California compliant rifle. So with that being said you can use the chart to uh, double check yourself also down here at this part of the chart it has all the the rifles that are considered completely illegal um, and you can't own them in California if they are under this name so basically the law works like this whenever you have a magazine first off you can't hold more than 10 rounds if it holds more than 10 rounds then guess what it's registered or excuse me it's considered uh, an assault rifle if you do have a magazine that is under 10 rounds you can do this two ways if it's a detachable magazine means that it comes off without the use of a tool then you cannot have any of the six evil features the six evil features are are a forward pistol grip which is up here somewhere a pistol grip, a flash hider, a uh, grenade launcher, a thumb hole stock, and or a uh, collapsible stock itself. So those are the six. Um, I don't think I missed any there. But if you do have a fixed magazine, which means that um, you have to take it off by use of a tool that's that's not considered a detachable magazine detachable magazines means a magazine that is capable to remove without the use of a tool that means you just push the button and it comes off but if you have to use a tool to get it off it can only be 10 rounds and the beauty about that is once you have a fixed magazine capable of being taken off with a tool then you can go ahead and have as many evil features as you want on it provided that that magazine is fixed so that's pretty much the gist of it all so that's how you get beautiful AR-15s like this one in California that are still compliant the only the only difference between a California compliant AR-15 and a basically an assault rifle are the fact that again if you have any of the six evil features then you cannot have a detachable magazine regardless of whether the magazine is detachable or not you can't have over 10 rounds because if you have over 10 rounds then that's considered an assault rifle in California so that's just the gist of it our next video is going to get into actual selection of an AR for you and for competition for defense whatever you want um, or for plinking so we're gonna get into that next week Hope you guys learned a little bit about that, and we will talk to you next weekend.